everyone, it's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. And I'm here today for your mind-body connection. Oh no, the dog's been like sleeping for hours. Let's hope <laughs> this isn't a problem. Yes, let's start. go away. Okay, we're gonna start in two minutes and we're gonna start in mountain pose today. So just doing things a little differently. Um, but as always, our focus is still going to be on relaxation, on breath, and really exploring the time it takes us to move uh, through some awesome, just through some awesome postures and asanas. Okay. Feel free to bring props like blocks, straps. Hopefully you won't need too many of those, but always nice to just kind of have them around. We do have a number of forward folds coming up and reaching our hands down towards the floor. So I'll encourage you to just bend your knees as much as you need to, especially if you don't have a prop, just to explore the range of motion that your breath and your body can bring today. Okay, feel free to grab some water before we get started. We have one more minute. I'm gonna grab some water. It's that magical time. Okay, so come to your mat space, whatever space that you created for yourself. Hopefully you're dressed comfortably. Maybe you put some music on. Maybe you change the lighting in your room. Whatever it is that you need to do to help you just relax in your space, to find your space to be a relaxing place, do that. And then go ahead come to the, the middle of your mat towel area and let's start in mountain pose. So really think about having your feet hips width distance apart. You might find that it's actually a little more comfortable or supportive with, for you to bring your heels and toes to touch each other. I want you to really focus on grounding your feet so equally pressing through all three or four corners, however you think about it, through the heels, through the ball of the foot, under the big toe, pressing down on the outside of your pinky, just creating some awareness. You can even keep a slight bend in your knees as you really begin to apply some pressure to the floor below you. Just allow these arms to relax down by your side. They can be turned in towards your body. You can start to open your hands, palms to help open your chest. Think about either closing your eyes or find one spot to focus your eyes, focus your mind, and really just start to slow your breath down right here. So taking this time and working to find some softness within your breath. Possibly you've already started to practice a little bit of ujjayi breathing, a slight constriction of your throat, pressing your tongue up onto the roof of your mouth. Notice what's happening with your shoulders. And do your best to find some length through the crown of your head and have those shoulders pulled down away from your ears. 
do they rise up with your breath on your inhale? If they do, that's okay. You're simply noticing how your body feels today. But if those shoulders are lifting up with your breath, that is typically a sign of stress. So I encourage you to really focus on finding some length of those fingertips down towards the floor, a little bit more opening of your chest, your heart chakra, a little more slowness in your breath, particularly focus on extending the length of your exhale. All right, if you have your feet side by side, go ahead, heel toe your feet out to be hips width distance apart. Remember your hips, we're talking about the hip bone, not the outside uh, sides of your glutes. So hips width distance apart is about two fist distance apart. If you want, you can even reach down, bend your knees, keep your belly pulled in. If you do reach down, just to find that little bit of measurement right there. All right. And then once again, here in mountain pose, let's get ready to find some big breaths and get our upper body involved as well. So turn your hands, palms forward, get ready to press up onto your toes and start to begin your inhale. As you inhale, pressing up onto your toes, really pushing those big toes into the floor, you're going to bend your elbows and reach to touch your fingers to the opposite shoulder. And then as you exhale, slowly coming out, releasing your heels down to the floor. Let's do that five times. Take your time with your breath. Really working to match your breath with your movement. Inhaling all the way up. Maybe still moving slow. You can continue that inhale as your fingers touch your shoulders and exhale. Fingers come all the way down to touch your thighs. Inhale up. Bend those arms. Touch your shoulders. Exhale. I already lost count. We'll do three more. It's totally okay and normal if you're finding some challenge of lifting up onto those toes, of finding some balance in your feet. Just do the best that you can with your body today. And after this last one, take a moment, allow your arms to just relax down by your side, equally ground your feet back through the floor. Remember, you can take that bend in your knees. Try not to just lock those kneecaps out. Find that slight tuck of your pelvis, hips come forward, belly pulls in to so stack your head over your heart, over your hips, over your heels. Back to your breath. going to change it up just a little bit. Go ahead, take that big inhale. And as your arms come up overhead, I want you to interlace your fingers and turn those palms up towards the ceiling. Use your big inhale and reach over towards the right side of the room and turn your head to the left. Really press through your hands, palms. Find that big push of your hips to the side of your body. Exhale, come on back through center. Use your big inhales to push over to the left. Look over to the right side body. Inhale back up through center. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. We're gonna go ahead and take a big squat right now. So with your feet right where they are, think about coming into chair pose, bring the weight into your heels, and allow those glutes to drop as much as feels good for you today. I know our feet are pretty narrow. Can you lift that chest up? Take a nice big inhale on your exhale. Sit your hips down towards the back a little bit more. Then inhale, stretch yourself all the way back up. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Go ahead, heel toe your feet out just a little bit wider. So maybe this time we heel toe out and our feet are in line with the outside of our hips or our glutes. Think about lining your big toes up towards each other so it might feel like your heels gently turned out for this next one. We're gonna do the same move. So you can take a bend in your knees as you inhale, 
now reach all the way up, interlace your hands, palms, and turn those hands, palms up towards the ceiling. With those feet ground through the floor and your belly pulled in, find that big stretch over to the right side of the room as you inhale, look over to the left. Exhale back through center, shoulders away from ears, inhale, press over to the right, look, sorry, press to the left, look to the right. Inhale back up through center, exhale, relax those arms down by your side. Let's go ahead, come on into that big squat, maybe you can go a little bit deeper. Use your inhale to lift up your chest, keep the weight in your heels, try not to let those knees go out or in, and exhale. Sit down a little bit deeper. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Beautiful, we're gonna open our feet even wider. This time maybe they're about mat width distance apart if you're standing lengthwise on your mat instead of sideways like me. And we're going to line our pinky toes up with each other. So this time heels start to turn in somewhat. It's gonna help us get a little bit more depth in that squat. Once again, inhale, bring those arms up overhead, squeeze your glutes, hips come forward, interlace your fingers, press them up towards the ceiling. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Use your next inhale to stretch over to the right side. Look to the left. Come on back through center, inhale, press over to the left, look to the right, take your time, can you extend that breath, still enjoy that inhale, even after your range of motion has ended, exhale back up to center, relax those arms down by your side, go ahead, sweep them forward, as you sit your hips down, coming deeper into our squat, use that next inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, bring a little bit more weight into your heels. One more time, inhale, rise yourself all the way up. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. One more time, open those feet even wider. This last time, really focus on the 45 degree angle. We're gonna work to bring our glutes down a little bit more, so use your big inhale. Stretch those arms up towards the ceiling, interlace your fingers and turn them so that your palms are facing up. Use your exhale, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Push those hips forward. Next inhale, reach up, find length from your waist and over to the right as you turn your head to the left. Exhale back up through center. Inhale, press over to the left, look to the right. Oh, feels so good. Inhale back up through center. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. They're gonna touch our thighs, sweep through, bring the weight into your heels. Sit yourself down into that big squat. Use your inhale to lift your chest. Use your exhale to sit those glutes down one more time. And then slowly, gently lift yourself up. Relax your arms down by your side. Let's go ahead, heel toe those feet back in towards each other. Once again, come into hips width distance apart. Relax your arms down by your side. Just come back into your stillness. Notice how your body's feeling. Hopefully just feeling a little more energy flowing, a little bit more awareness. Just noticing the stretches you brought to your body. We'll take three more slow breaths here. We've been doing so many squats and forward folds this week as they are some beautiful options for, for our desk, our desk life. Very tight hips, hip flexors, tight hamstrings. So next up, we're just going to work a little into our hamstrings. Um, this will be the portion that if you have trouble reaching down towards the floor, you can think about using your block or just think about using your body and finding that big generous bend of your knees. 
All right. So once again, we're going to inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale, pull your belly in, hinge forward, come on down into your forward fold. You can take that generous bend of your knees so that your belly is resting on your thighs. Better to have belly on your thighs to be supported or maybe have your hands on the floor to help you bend your knees and get belly towards your thighs with your glutes set towards the back of the room. It's going to feel way more relaxing than having a lot of space here, which just creates so much tension. So find that bend. And then from here, we're going to find a half lift. So maybe your fingers can stay on the floor. Maybe they start to trace up your shins. Really work to stretch through the crown of your head, seating shoulders down your back, stretching through your glutes towards the back of the room to find a flatter back and then exhale back down into your forward fold. We'll spend an extra minute right here in our initial, just, I don't even know what to call it, in our initial flow, that's what we'll call it. And this is all that we're doing for our first flow. Take your time, slowly, gently roll yourself back up one vertebrae at a time. At the top, inhale your arms up overhead. Bring your hands, palms together, and let's exhale those hands down to heart center. Great, so your eyes are in front of you, just focused, relaxed on one spot. Your feet are still ground into the floor below you. There's a slight engagement of your glutes. So you're working to take any extra rounding out of that lower back, really being supported. And remember, you can have that bend in your knees, even right here, to help you squeeze those glutes, bring those hips forward, just stacking and supporting your body. All right, but we're gonna do the same thing. Same thing we just did five beautiful times. So I encourage you to work within your own breath at the pace that's right for you. The slower, the better. We'll start together. Feet are ground with the floor. Use your inhale to stretch up towards the ceiling. You can look up with your eyes. Exhale, belly pulled in. Bring your hands all the way down towards the floor. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, come up into your half lift. Find that leg, shoulders seated down your back. And exhale, down into your forward fold. Just moving one breath at a time. Inhale, slowly roll yourself up. And exhale, bring those hands back down to heart center. Four more. Inhale up. Exhale, rain down to the floor in front of you. Plant those hands, bend your knees. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, down to your forward fold. And then slowly, gently roll yourself up. Stack those shoulders over your hips, ears over shoulders. Arms come up overhead, I forgot about those. And hands back down to your heart. Three more. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, forward fold. Take that bend in your knees. Inhale, find that straighter leg, straighter spine. Exhale, down to your forward fold. Inhale, slowly roll yourself up. Arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. Last two. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into that half lift. Exhale, back down into your forward fold. Slowly, gently rise yourself up. Find that big range of motion. Maybe your fingers even sweep more towards the back of the room as they come up overhead. And then down into Namaskar. Last time through, inhale up. Exhale, find that big forward fold. The more you start to bring your weight into your toes into this forward fold, inhale, half lift. The bigger the stretch on the back of the legs, exhale, forward fold once more. Slowly, gently rise yourself up. Inhale, arms up overhead. Take a moment with your hands at heart center. We're gonna hang out for a little while a little bit deeper once more, finding that forward fold, and we'll come into ragdoll. So inhale, arms up. 
exhale, forward fold, inhale into your half lift, exhale back down into that fold and then go ahead, grab hold of your opposite elbow, I'm just going to tuck my shirt in a little bit deeper, it seems to have come out, if you're at home, let your shirt fly up, it's okay, okay. So using, bringing a little bit more weight into your toes, starting to lift those hips up a little bit more. You might even notice your inner thighs start to spiral towards the back of the room. What's happening with your head right now? Instead of looking forward past where your arms are towards the top of your mat, look down between your two big toes. Take those extra wrinkles out of your neck. Allow gravity to bring your elbows a little closer towards the floor. Then while still in a forward fold, bring your hands to your hips. Start to find length once again through your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Bring weight into your heels. Nice flat back. Lift yourself up. So much engagement in the hamstrings and the glutes right there. And then relax your arms down by your side. Back to our mountain pose right where we started. a little opportunity for basically a standing savasana to just allow our bodies to soak in the movement the energy the breath that we've already brought to it hopefully you you have begun to notice that you feel different than when you first started class all right i'm going to turn sideways and you're going to heel toe your feet out a little bit wider wider than shoulders width distance apart if you have a lot of trouble reaching down towards the floor, then you can bring some blocks down and have them right in front of your feet. So for this one, once again, line those big toes up with each other. So toes are facing forward and heels are directly behind you. We're going to go for a little bit of a standing twist. So inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale. Bring those hands in line with your shoulders. We're gonna to come to the right side first, so keeping the outside of your left foot planted with the floor, reach your right, no, we're, we're going the opposite. Bring your left hand down towards the floor, stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling. Really take notice of what's happening with your left foot. I know you can't see it, but use your exhale to bring your chin down to look down at the floor below you. Really think about if you're stacking your shoulders, use your inhale to press a little bit more into the floor through your left hand palm, stack those shoulders, and turn your eyes back up to the ceiling. Whew. Press into your right heel, lift yourself back up, coming back through to center, and shoulders relax down your back. Use your big inhale. Exhale, we're going to come to the left. So taking a nice little bend in that left knee, bringing the weight into your heels. Hips shift behind you. Maybe you can get your hand down towards the floor. Maybe it's hard to reach the floor, so you're using that block. You're still pressing the outer edge of your right foot into the floor. Big stretch on the inside of the right thigh. Use your next inhale to look up towards the ceiling. Think about really stacking those shoulders. So left shoulder comes back, right shoulder comes forward. Press into the floor, exhale, look down at the floor. And use your inhale to lift yourself up and roll those shoulders down and back. Let's get two more on each side. So exhaling down, inhale, look up, press into the floor, find a little extra reach, exhale. Look down to the floor and inhale. Stand yourself back up. Exhale, other side, bending towards the knee, the foot you're reaching for. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling, find that extra lift. Exhale, look down towards the floor. Inhale, lift yourself back up. One more each side. Exhale, reach down towards the floor. 
Inhale, look up towards the ceiling, stack those shoulders, really reach. Exhale, look back down. Inhale, lift yourself up. Oh, last one, last side. Exhale into that big stretch, really press into the outer edge of your foot. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, back down towards the floor. And inhale, lift yourself up. Great, all right. Keep your heels invisible behind your toes. We're gonna swan dive forward once more. So roll those shoulders down and back. Open up your chest nice and wide. Start to bring the weight forward to your toes. Looking forward as long as you can with that nice flat back. Go ahead, come all the way down towards the floor. When you get here, you can shake your glutes a little bit. If you need to bring a little bit of a bend to your knees because this is too much of a stretch on your hamstrings, that's totally okay. You can take that slight bend of your knees. If you don't need to, think about bringing the weight forward. So instead of having your, instead of having your glutes stretching towards the back of the room, being past your heels, bringing the weight forward so that your glutes are stacked right on top of your feet, it's going to bring an extra stretch to those legs. Okay, keep your left hand down towards the floor. One more big twist. Inhale your right arm up towards the ceiling. Look up towards that hand pump. Take a moment, look down towards the floor. Once more, inhale, look up, really reach up. And on your exhale, release your right hand down towards the floor. Replace your right with your left. Inhale, right arm up, to, left arm up towards the ceiling. Look up. Stack those shoulders, exhale, look down once more. Inhale, look up, exhale, rain those fingers down towards the floor. Point your hands backwards, walk your hands between your legs. You can find a little bit more reach. If you take a generous bend of your knees, walk those fingers back. Then work to lift those hips, just challenging your balance, challenging that stretch. Once again, bend your knees, walk your fingers back. Exhale, lift your hips. Last time, bend your knees, walk your fingers back. Exhale, uh, lift your hips. Think about really pressing your big toes into the floor. Make sure you're not coming all the way out towards the outsides of your feet. And then use your X exhale to let your fingers rain forward. Let's go ahead, turn your toes out. Keep your heels in. We'll release ourselves down one more time for a big squat. If it feels good for you, you can keep your fingers on the floor, maybe even shifting the weight a little bit. Right and left, left and right. Beautiful, and then find some stillness in your squat if you're not already there. See if you can lift that chest up and allow those glutes to drop a little bit more. Still pressing towards the outside of those feet, finding that lift in your chest for three, two, one. Beautiful, bring those hands to the floor. Go ahead, gently start to walk your legs behind you. Let's come into down dog. So. Just like you did for those forward folds, you can take a big bend of your knees to bring your belly towards your thighs so the biceps come a little closer uh, in line with the ears. You can stretch through one arm a little bit more than the other, pedal through those heels, maybe come all the way up onto your toes, just really starting to wake those shoulders up one more time. Yay, oh, feels so good. Okay, so staying right here in down dog, keep your left foot ground with the floor. See if you can relax that left heel towards the floor and inhale your right leg up towards the ceiling. Resist the urge to turn and twist and open that hip. So see if you can still keep your chest and shoulders squared with the mat, your hips squared with the mat. Just make some circles with that right foot. Change direction of those circles. Now you can bend the knee, work to gently open the hip a little bit more. Make some circles with your knee in one direction. Make sure you're still really pressing into that right hand palm so you're not uh, leaning too much towards the right side. And then 
Relax and release your right leg to the floor. Inhale your left leg up. Work to press through that right heel. With a nice straight leg, just make some circles with your ankle in one direction. Make sure you're pressing into that left hand pump. So you're not turning towards the left side of the room. Your chest, your hips are still square with the mat. Make some circles with your leg, with your ankle in the opposite direction. Find that big bend of your knees stacking on top of hips. Make some circles in one direction. Make some circles in the other direction. Extend that leg once more. Release your left foot down to the floor. Take a moment, look, bend those knees. Send your hips back towards your heels. Find yourself in child's pose. Ugh. Whatever variation of child's pose feels best for you today, you can keep your arms extended. You can take a generous bend of your elbows. You can bring your hands all the way back towards your heels. Just find some relaxation. Allow that head to come down below heart's level. Let's bring a big shoulder stretch or into our child's pose. So with, oh, of course they're vacuuming. So with your left hand still extended, maybe press yourself up gently and reach your right hand underneath of your body, palm facing up towards the ceiling. Can you relax and release your right temple to the floor? Use that exhale to bring that right hand back forward and leave your left hand underneath of your body, a little thread needle. Bring the left temple to your mat. use your breath use that exhale to bring both hands forward we're gonna pull ourselves forward come into a nice big cobra feel free to open those feet nice and wide press your hands palms into the floor stretch your chin up towards the ceiling then go ahead tuck those toes under once again send your hips up and find yourself back and down dog yay once again feel free to pedal those heels really work Bending those knees as you need to to get your biceps by your ears. Then go ahead, plant that left foot on the floor. Inhale your right leg up towards the ceiling once more. And then send that right leg up. Plant it down. Let's come on into a nice big hip opener. You can stay lifted here in your hip opener, working to stack your knee on top of the arch of your foot. If this is a little too much for you, feel free to release that back leg down towards the floor. We'll take another big twist right here. So, left hand planted, inhale that right arm up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're still gently shifting forward to find that big stretch in your left hip opener. One more big inhale. On your exhale, release that hand down towards the floor. Go ahead, send your right leg back to meet with the left and hips back up towards the ceiling in down dog. Keep your right foot planted, inhale left leg all the way up nice and high, really try and touch that ceiling, and then draw it forward, plant it on the floor. Once again, option to release that back knee down if you need to, or you can stay lifted. Think about shifting the weight forward though. Finding that beautiful length we found earlier through your spine and inhale your left arm up towards the ceiling. Look up towards it. Really work to once again stack those shoulders, one on top of the other. Exhale, release your hand back down towards the floor. 
Send your left leg back to meet with the right. One more time, pressing up into down dog. We're gonna shift the weight forward, coming into a plank. From here, you can either bend your elbows and chaturanga yourself down, or bring your knees to the floor. Then work down into that push up. Lift yourself up into cobra. And then exhale your hips back towards your heels for some child's pose. Take your time, bring yourself up into tabletop. From here, we'll give ourselves a couple cat cows. So hands palms stack right underneath of your chest and shoulders, really pushing to those hands palms. Find a little bit more engagement through straight arms of relaxing that belly down towards the floor, pressing your knees in, spreading your glutes and thighs towards the back of the room, and then tucking your chin towards your chest, finding as much rounding in your back as you possibly can. Beautiful. From here, take your time, bring your hips back towards your heels, and then just shift the weight over. We're gonna send our legs out in front of us. Taking a moment in staff pose. So really think about walking those hips behind you just a little bit to find a nice little forward hinge to keep any pain out of your lower back. If this is too much on your hamstrings, you can always take that generous bend of your knees. Let's use our breath here once again. So while we've walked our hips back, we know it'll be easy to find that forward hinge. Start to flex your toes back towards your waist. Use your inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, find just a little bit of a forward range of motion. The edge of your range of motion, use one more inhale. And then exhale, if it feels good, round yourself down. Use that next inhale to slowly roll yourself up. And just take a moment here, finding ourselves back in staff pose. Hands, fingers right by your hips. Chest is nice and open. Uh, shoulder blades are gently squeezed towards each other. Let's do the same thing two more times. So inhale up. Exhale, fingers come in line with shoulders as you find a little forward hinge as far forward as you can reach with the flat back. One more inhale and exhale. Belly comes more towards thighs, head comes towards knees. Slowly roll yourself up on your inhale, hang out right here, restack your head over heart, over hips. Last one, we'll hang out a little longer in that forward fold. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Exhale, reach forward, see if you can reach past the toes, nice flat back. One more inhale, really find that lifted leg, and exhale, Rain yourself down. We'll stay here for about five breaths. Great. On your next inhale, slowly, gently roll yourself up, coming back into that staff pose. And from here, we're going to take a nice little spine twist. So keep your left leg extended in front of you. Take your right leg and cross it over your left. Just find a place where you can ground that right foot on the floor. Maybe you can bring it in exceptionally close, and maybe it's still really far away. We're going to inhale the right arm up towards the ceiling and exhale it behind us so that you find a little opening of your chest. Think about that right hand functioning as a kickstand. Take another moment to notice what's happening with your right foot. 
Do your best to not have it press right against your kneecap. All right, so you're already in a bit of a spine twist. This time lifting your right arm up towards the ceiling, left arm, and exhaling to bring your left hand fingertips down towards the floor. You can even use your elbow or your forearm to press into the outside of your right thigh to help you once again get your two shoulders in one line. So really work first to find that length through the crown of your head, length first. Maybe it's a little too much for you and you need to just place your hand on top of your thigh to help you find that twist while you enjoy your length. Find what feels good for your body today. Maybe twisting your chin over the shoulder for your last two breaths. Take your time, move really slowly as you gently untwist. First, twisting back towards the front and then releasing your hands by your side. Uncross your legs if you want to, even bring your hands behind you. Take a moment, windshield wipe your feet, bob your knees, just take out any stress, maybe shake out any stress in your shoulders and your low back and then come back into your amazing staff pose. Keep your left foot on the floor. You can have your hands by your side to help as you cross your right leg over your left. Then go ahead, inhale, left arm up towards the ceiling and exhale, bring it down behind you close by the base of your spine. On your next inhale, right arm comes up towards the ceiling and exhale, turn and twist to that left side. Once again, think about using your back of your elbow or maybe just resting your hand to help you find as much of a twist as possible. Number one is grounding your sit bones, shoulders away from your ears, finding length through your spine. Let that be the limiting factor towards your twist. So if you find that you're coming into a big twist but you're really starting to collapse your chest towards your knees, come back towards the front. Find that lifted leg, get a gentle pull in of your lower belly to support your back for the last two breaths. If it's not already there, think about bringing your chin towards your left shoulder. And then take your time, slowly, gently use your exhale to turn forward and then release yourself from your twist. Slowly, let's lower ourselves down onto the mat, but can we get a little bit of ab work as we lower ourselves down towards the mat? So maybe like me, you needed to walk yourself forward to give yourself some space behind you with those feet ground down on the floor. Still with that belly really engaged, maybe you can have your arms in front of you. Maybe you need your fingers behind your thighs for a little bit of support as you slowly lower yourself down. One beautiful vertebrae at a time. Great, when your head connects with the mat, draw your legs up one at a time. Taking a moment here in knees to chest pose. Stretch your shoulders away from your ears, stretch elbows down towards your hips. A slight tucking of your chin towards your chest to get as much of your neck and back vertebrae flat on the mat. Leave your feet relaxed side by side. Maybe your knees are even open nice and wide and press that lower back down on the mat as well. Take a moment here in stillness, just notice how your body feels. And if you do have any noticeable tension still, think about rolling side to side, maybe drawing one knee in a little bit closer and releasing the other one away, getting an extra stretch into those hips, into those inner thighs. And then bring the soles of your feet together. Start to open those knees nice and wide and release the outsides of your feet to the floor. You can press into them to lift yourself up, to relax your glutes underneath of you. We'll hang out for five breaths here in reclined bound angle before we extend our legs and come into our final savasana.
you're welcome to stay here in recline bound angle. If this hip opener feels amazing for you, or think about extending those legs in front of you. If you're really feeling any lower back issues of finding a nice little tenting or bending of your knees to gently tilt that pelvis up to get more of your lower back flat on the floor. And we'll spend two minutes here in silent savasana. You're welcome to stay in this final savasana for as long as continues to feel good for you. You should stay here as long as you need to, meaning is your breath nice and soft? Are you getting up from your mat and still feeling a lot of stress and tension? If so, take five more breaths. And if not, and you want to close class together, make your way up to a seated position. As you get there, bring your hands to heart center in Namaskar. Tuck your chin to your chest and take this time to truly honor yourself, to thank yourself for coming to the mat, for making time for your mental and physical practice. I'm so appreciative of everyone who comes to this class. I love the comments both on Facebook and YouTube so encouraging to know that you guys appreciate what we're putting out there. I know I appreciate that you keep coming. <laughs> Thank you so much for just sticking with your breath, especially during that extra long vacuuming outside in the hallway today. I know sometimes during yoga, those things happen. Ugh, even at a yoga studio, someone's like cleaning the studio. My yoga studio has a dance studio upstairs and I would take yin yoga during tap classes. So it really is just about, about really silencing the outside world and tuning into yourself and I know that it is a big challenge but sometimes I love when those things happen during class is they help us to practice it here on our mat so that we can take it into the real world. Alright, if you have any questions or concerns about anything that we said well, that I said and that we did today. I hope that you will reach out. If you have any aches or pains, I'm so delighted to create a class that focuses on your personal, mental, physical, whatever needs. Any needs, let me know. In the meantime, continue to think good thoughts, to speak good words, to eat good foods, and do good deeds to nourish yourself from the inside and out. Go ahead, bring your thumb up to your drishti, your third eye. Press your sit bones into the floor. Lift your beautiful face, your elbows up towards the ceiling. 
and know that the light in me sees and honors the light within you. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.